Hello fellow problem solvers. So today we're going to be doing a problem that was part of a hard IMO problem, which I will reveal at the end of this video. If you want to try this problem out on your own, I suggest you try it out for a minimum of 15, ideally 45, but not more than 90 minutes. If on the other hand, you'd like to go along with us, I suggest you pause for five minutes or so read the problem, get your first ideas out on paper, and then come back. Now's the time to pause. Okay, so let's begin. So, to summarize, Bob's favorite fruit is either an apple, banana, or orange. Alice goes ahead and she puts a couple of these fruits in a basket and asks him, is your favorite fruit here? And we have a condition that Bob can lie, but not twice in a row. Okay, so now the first problem solving strategy would be whenever you begin a, attempt a problem, play around with the problem to, better, to get a better understanding of what the problem is about and to get some ideas. And you usually, what you wanna do is you wanna write down what your intuitions are. So now is a good time to pause for three or five minutes and play around a bit and write down your intuitions. So now we're gonna be doing that. Before we play around, let's just get clear on a common language. I will be denoting apple by A, banana by B, and orange by C. If Alice is presenting Bob with an empty basket, I'll denote it like this. If it has an apple inside, I'll denote it like this. An apple and banana, I'll denote it like this and apple, banana and orange will be denoted like this and similarly for other combinations. Now that we have this, let's play around. So with games in general, it is a matter of thinking, okay, what would I do if I was Bob? What would I do if I was Alice? What would be the smartest thing to do? So now let's look at a specific case. If Alice were to put an apple, banana, and orange in a basket, and you were Bob, what would you do? Well if, you, well, if you're like me, you would just say, yeah, yes, my favorite fruit is in this basket. Because I don't lose anything by telling the truth here. Similarly, if Alice presented me with an empty basket, I would say, no, my favorite fruit is not here because I don't lose anything by telling the truth here, because Alice would know if I lied. Given that, this means from Alice's point of view, it only makes sense to ask six types of questions. Is your favorite fruit an apple or banana? Apple, orange, banana, orange, apple, banana, orange. These are the only things that it makes sense for Alice to present to Bob. These two make no sense whatsoever because Bob will, as we would, tell the truth. So now let's look at what would Alice do, what would be smart for Alice to do given these six questions. Now another problem solving strategy that we can use that we might have used implicitly by playing around is to look for similarities between things that are, on the surface, very different. Here, this means that some questions are really the same, even though they're different. What do I mean? Well, asking Bob, is his favorite fruit here, is the same thing as asking Bob, is his favorite fruit here? Why is that? Well, one way of looking at it is if Alice presents Bob with an apple and banana in one universe and in another universe she presents him with an orange, Bob saying yes to is your favorite fruit apple or banana is the same thing as him saying no, my favorite fruit is not an orange in the other universe because they signify the same thing. Now this means we can focus our attention to basically just three of these questions because this question is the same as this one, this question is similar to this one, and this question is similar to this one. 
So now let's go play around with these questions and see if Alice can figure out which one of the free fruits is not Bob's favorite by only asking him these sorts of questions. So now let's do that. And the first question doesn't really matter because they're symmetric. So let's just say apple is the first question. And then the second question, let's just play around with apple, then banana. What are the possible answers that Bob can give? One is, you can say yes to apple and yes to banana. Or you can say yes to apple or no to banana. He can also go with no, then a yes. Or you can just say no, no. Now, what do we have in each and every one of these cases? Well, from Alice's point of view, if he said yes twice, yes, it's an apple, yes, it's a banana. If his favorite fruit was an apple, he told the truth here, so good, good on him. If his favorite fruit was a banana, he told the truth here and lied here. But if his favorite fruit was an orange, then he lied in both places, which we, which he can't do. So this means that his favorite is not an orange. Okay, so we have something if he gives us two yeses. Now, what do we have if he gives us a yes and then a no? Well, if apple was his favorite, he just told the truth twice. But if banana was his favorite, then he lied here and lied here which he can't do. So, in this case, his favorite fruit is not a banana. Now, what about this case? Well, if apple was his favorite, then he lied both here and here, which he can't do. So, now we know apple is not his favorite fruit. So, from playing around, we figured that getting a yes means that we're going to be finishing up pretty soon, either in the next turn or that we have already finished. So now the question is, can Alice force a yes from Bob? Here is where I would invite you to pause for three or five minutes and see if you can finish the problem up all by yourself, okay? Now we're gonna go to the solution. So now we see, playing around a bit more, that if we keep asking him apple, banana, orange, apple, and he just keeps giving us no's, we don't get anywhere. We cannot conclude which one of the free fruits is not his favorite from just these answers. But if he ask him, is it an apple? He says no. And then we ask him again, is it an apple? And he says no again. Here we're winning. It is because in this case, if it was an apple, if apple was his favorite, he just told two lies, which he can't do. Which means apple is not his favorite fruit. And now we have all we need to finish. Now let's bring everything together, combine it up and finish the problem. So now this is the solution. Alice first presents an apple to Bob if Bob says, yes, my favorite fruit is in the basket, she presents a banana to Bob. And then if he says, yes, she knows it's not an orange. If Bob says, nope, she knows his favorite fruit is not a banana. On the other hand, if Bob says no at the beginning, she presents him with an apple once again. If he says no, then she knows it's not an apple. If Bob says, yes, my favorite fruit is in the basket right now, she asks him, is your favorite fruit in the basket right now? Present him, him with a banana. If he says yes, then just like in here, we know it's not an orange. And if he says no, we know it's not a banana. Now, all of this means that Alice can, in fact, figure out which one of the fruits is not Bob's favorite in five questions, five turns or less. In fact, she can do it in three turns or less. Now, this problem was in some way a part of the International Math Olympiad 2012, problem three, part A. Now, this might be very surprising to hear, but I suggest that you try out problem three, part A of IMO 2012 
if you've managed to solve this problem. It is a generalization of this problem right here. And now for our base case. Thanks for problem solving.